hello. It's afternoon. I the only thing I did in the yard this weekend was um, mow. It's getting nice. I mean, like nice. There's not a whole ton for me to do. It rained a couple days this week. I want to show you what rain does to our grass. It's so fabulous. And there's a shadow. I think you can see that. This is all the baby grass. All that. But look, it's really coming in. So I decided since it's coming in so well and the rain is coming, that I would put some more seed in um, some of the little holes around here. I did it. I did seed in the back yard there. Um, and then there's not too many holes in the dog run side. Just footsteps where I've been watering my plants and throwing the hose. It's looking so good. This is growing in really good. And then over here where the little bad spot was is looking really good too. I did mow it when I mowed. You're supposed to wait four weeks to mow it and I didn't want to wait that long. Um, I I, it was getting long and I thought, oh, I'll, I'm just going to mow it. I'll just plant more if it doesn't work. But it's so nice. Oh, I'll show you my next project. i got to organize the garage. Oh my God. So much stuff. I went and bought $100 worth of bins, which gave me six. Those two are full of just yarn. But I I did this side pretty well, but I want everything in one of these bins. Everything. These are just miscellaneous bags that I gotta take in the house. But I want all of this in bins, so that's all you see. You don't see any of this. Well you will see the cans and you might still see the cleaning products. But everything else is going in bins. I already did some this morning. I filled one of the bins that I bought. That's only because a lot of it is either was either garbage or there was like two things in a box and I combined them all. Um, some of it's getting donated. My husband calls me a hoarder, but this is what's funny. That big gray bin right there, that one, that's full of yarn had about 30 pairs of jeans in it. I'm not lying, about 30 pair. Um, in a size that he does not wear anymore and probably will never wear anymore. I don't wear that size and Tyler doesn't wear that size. So they're all going to Goodwill. They were like nice jeans too. I don't think I'm the hoarder because I only have about five pairs of jeans because I rarely wear jeans, but I'll get going on this. Okay, now I'm recording. Take a week or so off, I don't remember what I'm doing. It's like 6.30 p.m. on Saturday, and I mowed, <clears throat> excuse me, because I had to work this morning. I've been there 25 years. I thought my Saturdays were over. It's fine, it was an outreach event, so I did my outreach. I did my civic duty. Um, give you some updates here. Okay, here's my dog run grass. I put seed here. And I put seed here. And I still have a few spots that need to grow in. Here's the thing about the tenacity. They still come back. The dandelions do. Um, the ones that were here are dead. That were here when I put it on are dead. But I see 
so I'm coming back. So that means I have to do a pre-emergent. So I'm doing research on that now to figure out. Um, a lot of them are saying put it on in the beginning of fall, like September or something. Well, it's October, it's the middle of October and it's 80 degrees right now at this moment. Summer is hanging on and I am loving it. Getting a text message. Okay, uh, I'll show you the rest of my grass. So all my other problem areas. And I don't know if I'm watering it too much and the seed is kind of washing away or what's going on. These things here that were that the tenacity made me on they are something I can't pronounce but my friend's son who's a horticulturist uh, gave me the scientific name for them they're like these little purple flower things and they have bulbs you can't just kill them I gotta dig them up if I want to do that um, Anyway, so, so, oops, let me turn my camera. Okay, so all, this is looking pretty good. This is where all the wood piles were here and had just killed off this grass. So it's coming back pretty good. Still a few dandelions, but it's not bald like it was. I've done nothing to this side. From here down, I've done nothing to it. No overseed, no tenacity, no anything. I was just trying to concentrate on these two areas here. See if I can figure out what the heck I'm doing. Took all summer to figure it out. And now I think I know, so I can work on this one. I'll put the pre-emergent on this one, but I'll have to work on it. I got sweat dripping in my eyes. I'll have to work on it next summer and, and <clears throat> get that taken care of. Uh, oh, here's another nice thing. It's been about a month since I've shown these, and look at them. Freaking crazy. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this on this side. Because this just turned out so nice. I'm, I'm freaking out. That's all I did today. Um, put some water. T tomorrow I'm gonna come out and pull some weeds. Cause I got. I don't even know if I did that last weekend. And I have some coming in. How oh, I? I'm gonna do something over here. So my revolving grass seed. Put grass in here, and I have cleared all this out. But now I like it. So. Instead of trying to beat it, I'm going to join it. My son says all the rich people put moss or ground cover in between those pavers. We're far from rich, but we can look like we are, so I'm going to put some moss and uh, ground cover in that area. And I want to find one that's going to creep fast because I have no patience. Okay, let's continue tomorrow. It's a new day. I haven't done any yard work. It's actually kind of been nice, though I, I do look forward to doing it just for anxiety reasons. But I've been out here in the garage. Look how much more I got done. I put everything in bins over here, except the cleaning products and the cans. And now I'm gonna go through this mess, but I did end up filling all of my bins because I wanted to get the stuff out of the boxes. Everything was in a HelloFresh box because they're big and they're sturdy and free. But it looks better with the, with the bins. Okay. This is what I wanna work on, but now it's in the sun. So I'm not going to. I have been cleaning my patio off. I had rakes and chainsaws and the reach chainsaw and 
everything out here. So I have been picking up that. This is full. I used the bag when I mowed this side. Look how many leaves it picked up. It's almost like a vacuum. And they're back. I got a quote on these trees. Actually, they actually came out and looked at them instead of just doing the quote online. $480. A lot more reasonable. I wanted him to do it right then and there. But he said to not do the apple tree until November um, because it's dormant right now and it might not grow back. But if so, if you wait till November to do it, it'll grow back in a couple years. I'm not cutting it all the way down, but a good chunk of it. So I have another company coming out tomorrow. So I'll get two estimates. I'll go with the cheapest. At least I know it's not going to be 1400 Whew. I'm doing some minor surgery on my, my weed whacker here because it wasn't, um, it's not feeding the string through when I push the button like that. And it's not the spring that's worn out. I, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it's not feeding through, but doesn't this fix everything? So I'm gonna spray it so I can get it to work for me. And that's why I have shitty edges. <laughs> I'm still laughing at myself. And just from that little swipe. Um. Okay. A little bit more work than I thought it would be. And I just look crappy here. <laughs> Jeez. They looked better on the other side. I want to upgrade my blower. I have had that one since I've lived here. So if you're looking for a good blower, and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money, could not tell you how much I spent on this, but I know it wasn't expensive. It's cheap. I I think it would, it might blow a candle out, but I mean, it's it's worked. It's still working. It's doing very well. There it is. I think this is the bottom of the line of the yard equipment tour. I don't know. It's worked for 14 years. So this is what's supposed to look nice and smooth. But look at my see all those bite marks. This is the dog. So I'm in the market for a new one. I'm not spending $300. I'll tell you how much you guys. I'd probably end up doing it. I don't know. An electric one um, probably would be my preference. Battery operated, I'm okay with that. I hear the batteries only last like 15 or 20 minutes though, and I, I might use it for longer than that, probably not. But the gas powered ones, that's when you start getting into the money. And, I don't know, $300, $400. I don't know if it's worth it or not. Photo bomber morning. I had nightmares about these edges. Now that I have more patience because it's morning, 
I decided to go back and do it again and go real slow and go for quality over quantity. That's right. Okay, starting right there in this lovely spot. To my defense, there was not grass here. Still trying to grow a little bit. So it's not gonna look absolutely perfect, you know, because of all this and stuff, but I did, I did much better. And now my batteries are dead. They're recharging. Not my body batteries, my, my weed eater batteries. <laughs>